But what, what I want to do now is, um, oh, and, and let, me, let me give some notation here that I've found useful. I call them twist and rotate so that there's two different letters, T and R. And I sort of think, uh, oh, at least this is where it works well for me, uh, to keep track of what I've done, uh, I would basically say, if I start with zero and then I do a twist to it, then that gives me a one, right? And if I did another twist to it, that gives me a two and so forth. Okay? Um, so you could, if we start from wherever we are, we could indicate a series of moves just with a bunch of T's and R's, right? If I, if I did three twists, T, 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 and a rotate, and then two more twists, I could just write it something like this. Or if you like, I could write it as T cubed R, T squared. You know, and you, depending on how old the kids are you're, you're using this with, you know, maybe they like this, maybe they like this. Yeah? So, so your convention is that we, the first one is the one on the left. Right. right. I'm, I'm always going to go from left to right. So if, if I write it down this way, I'm, I'm reading it from left to right. So this says do a twist, a twist, a twist, then a rotate, then a twist, then a twist, and where are we? And so it, it, the, we, we're going to say for sure that if I start with a, a number x, and I do a twist to it, I get x plus 1. Okay, that was sort of, and that's a nice, reasonable thing to do. And the question is, if I do, if I start with some number x and I do a rotate to it, what in the heck belongs over here? And we have a little bit of evidence here. We know that, remember if we did a twist and a rotate and a t twist, we started with 0. Yeah, let me do it in the same way here. Zero, and I do a twist, then a rotate, then a twist. What did we do? Remember what happened here? We got back to zero here, right? And so you could actually split this up. You could say, I started at zero. I did a twist, so where am I now? One. I did a rotate, and as we know what the answer is here, but, you know, for a second we say, I don't know what in the heck that is. But I do know that if I did a twist to that, it got completely untangled. So that tells us something because I know what twist does. Twist always adds one. So I'm adding one to something to get to zero. So this something here must be negative one. So in other words, we don't know what R does in general, but we do know that if you start with 1 and you do a rotate to it, you get negative 1. All right?